Hi all, I hope you guys are doing great. We had been to Wales with our family. It was such a memorable trip for us. Travel has a magical way of creating memories that last a lifetime. I always believed that it was breathtaking sceneries, mouth-watering delicious food. It was amazing. This trip was so much more than I ever expected. We left the house very early in the morning, so we didn't eat any breakfast. Road trip is always fun. You know what? I enjoy eating oranges in a road trip. It makes me feel really fresh. I don't know why. Kids are choosing their own snack. This is my favorite. Wales is 250 miles from London. It'll take us around six hours if we are lucky with the traffic. We're all set now. It was heavy traffic on our way. We were moving inch by inch in many places. We wanted to take a break, so we are pulled into your services. Aarti wants a coffee and uh, my kids also want some hot drinks. So I may be getting some hot chocolate. There is a Starbucks inside. I like the hot chocolate. Actually, both Costa and Starbucks, they both do really good hot chocolate. When it comes to traveling with children, it'll take longer time. A three-hour drive can take five, really. Susie is already bored sitting in the car and uh, she wants to buy a book to read. That is good. Instead of screen, I'm surprised. Oh, come on! What are you looking for? I just want to see the books. I thought there'll be a lot of crowded Starbucks this time. Everyone eating their breakfast. But most of the seats are free. They all look so good. What sort of Lemon muffin. Yeah, lemon muffin. Cinnamon cream. Look, they've got the raspberry on it. Thank you, Kitty. Mix, mix, mix. Coffee good? Why don't you try daddy's? We could have taken the motorway, that would have been faster, but we wanted to drive through the villages. I just love English countryside. We thought we'll eat lunch in a beautiful country pub somewhere. We have come to Lacock village. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> if you are a Harry Potter fan, you'll find many shooting spots in this village. My kids are die-hard fans of Harry Potter. Me too! <laughs> we are going to go around the village and see the serene beauty of this place and uh, spot all the Harry Potter shooting spots. Even the public toilet was in a historic building here. You know, in Harry Potter movie, Harry's parents' house, that house is here. We are heading to see that one. Everything two pounds, money through the letterbox. Whenever we are out in the countryside, honesty shops abound. These are small stalls, sometimes just a table with local produce displayed. We can pick up the items that we need and put in the money there in the box. Isn't this a really, really lovely place? Wow, this place is a 15th century courtyard. There is a shop inside. Let's go and have a look. They've got socks. All the seasonal items for this weather. Woolen socks. Mm, handmade. They've got novelty items too. What a surprise. This socks is 12 pounds. They're a bit pricey, but you know, all handmade items are always pricey. Yeah, but it's good to buy handmade things, right? They've got beeswax as well, I saw that. And they've got honey and pickles, candles, different types of jams, different flavors. A lot of homemade items here, olives. Lacock Bakery. Let's have a closer look. Lovely cakes. 
very well presented as well. They look like artisan breads. It's a charming place to sit and have tea and cake. Don't you think? Let's go and see Harry Potter's parents' house. You know, Lily and James Potter live in that house when Voldemort kills them. And Harry, as a baby, gets a scar in his forehead. That house. This is the house. Do you recognize it from the movie? In the movie, it is shown the houses at the end of Church Street. Cottage door has changed color, but this house is the one that was used in Harry Potter and in Philosopher's Stone in flashbacks to Harry's childhood. You know, when Hagrid shares with Harry the story of his parents. How many times I watched Harry Potter movies with my kids. We have Harry Potter marathon for every half term and term holidays. I think many families do the same thing. J.K. Rowling has given us so many, so many wonderful memories. What a beautiful church. It is so peaceful in here. So beautiful. Queen Camilla's daughter has got married here in 2006. What is it? Oh, yeah, oh, it's the horseshoe. They are selling horseshoes here. There are these honesty shops all over the place. How much? Three each or two for five pounds. They've got these kind of shops all over. See, this is also, we have to put in the money here. Mm, welcome our house family. This is a nice souvenir, isn't it? It's nice. There is a cafe here. In a very old building, it's nice inside. But um, we are going to eat our lunch in another village. That village is even more beautiful. We just checked it out in Google. We are going to go there and have our lunch. Parthi and the girls are walking in front of me. They've already crossed the road. I need to catch up with them. Mm, they're selling jams here. Jams, pickles. These are fudges, see? They've got lovely fudges. It is also a shop. You can take whatever you want and then you have to put the money, which they have displayed in a sheet here. You have to put the money in the box. Yeah, it's a honesty shop, see. You can even scan and pay. There is nobody here at the shop. They've just put a table here and the things are here. Mm, orange marmalade. When you look at orange marmalade, what do you think of? <laughs> Paddington Bear. <laughs> Everyone does that. Wow, fudge is two fifty per bag. You could buy some fudge for the car. Kids can eat in the car. Chutneys. So many fresh, so many fresh stuff here. It looks like pickled eggs, and this is pickleily. Wow, this row of houses is so beautiful. It says quintessentially English. It's true. It's very true. This is another shop. They are selling leather purses here. How much each one? Two pounds. Each purse two pounds. Oldest pub in Lacock. It is such a beautiful building. Very old historical building. Oh wow. It's established in 1361. Oh my God, it's amazing. Bhatti's the little eco shop. Let's have a look. The chocolate barn, handmade chocolates. Wow. <laughs> chocolate is my most favorite thing in the world. I am a chocoholic. I just love sweets. I've got sweet tooth. I've got sweet tooth. This is the chocolate barn. See, they've got hot chocolate, everything here, all hot drinks. Bought these little eco shop black cock. What is it? They've got some tulips, daffodils. It's the garden ornaments. It's nice. 
these are for flower vase i guess they've got a snail lovely things you know i like little garden ornaments they've got the barn converted into a shop here very good idea look at this tea cup <laughs> it's a tea set it's beautiful looks like it's handmade yeah it is it's 995 pounds Oh, it's beautiful. It's my weakness. I always buy tea sets. So I love them. Oh, look at these little bunnies. <laughs> They're not bunnies. They look like sheep. The white ones are. Wow, look how adorably cute these are. <laughs> All handmade, hand knitted ones. It's beautiful out here. They've converted the barn into something really nice and handmade everything. It's a wishing well. We have a pond in our garden, but we don't have a wishing well. But a friend of mine has it, a pretty wishing well. Do we have to cross? To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. We have come to Lakau Cab Bay. They have shot many Harry Potter scenes here. We didn't go inside. The entrance ticket was a bit pricey and moreover we are going to another beautiful village to eat our lunch. But if you happen to spend a full day in Lakok, then you must visit this abbey. You remember Quirrell's class from Harry Potter and also Severus Snape's Potions class, they're all from here. My daughter just told me even Hogwarts corridor scenes are also shot here. Driving through these beautiful quaint villages can be a great way to clear your head and give you a fresh perspective on things. It is so relaxing and inspiring. This is amazing. It's very nice. It's here. very nice. Now keep left and then turn hey, I think half this left. has come in the in Mrs. Mary's Mrs. Mrs. Grace in Now the, turn half left the and then Agatha turn Agatha left. I think so. Yes, that's the one. Yes. Which is there? It comes in Agatha Raisin, this pond. What? Yeah. You know the Agatha Raisin TV series. You know, mommy used to read. Oh my god, it's that house! Look, it's Agatha Raisin's house. Oh my god! That's the one! Yeah. Oh my god, I have to see this. Get on, get on. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm here. We didn't even plan this. We were on our way to another village. And we just spotted this hidden gem. I'm a huge fan of Agatha Raisin detective novels by N.C. Beaton. They made a TV series as well. And this house is where Agatha lives. She's my hero. I love her. Ashley Jensen has played Agatha and she's fantastic. See, this is the house I'm standing in front of right now. Agatha Raisin characters are like real people in our house. I'm so crazy about them. James Lisi, Bill, Gemma, Sarah, Roy Silver, Charles Frey, everyone. Today is my lucky day. This is such a lovely spot. House and there is a pond in the front. How amazing is that? Life is very beautiful if you change the way how you look at it. I may not be the richest person in the world, but I've got the most beautiful people around me. That makes me very happy. All the Cotswold villages have these kind of narrow country roads. It's picturesque. It is so serene and peaceful without the hustle bustle of the city. We are going to Chipping Camden for our lunch. There was no parking anywhere. Somehow we managed to do road parking. I've been in Chipping Camden before. This is my second time here. When I was pregnant with our first child, we came here. Pathi and I stayed in the Manor Hotel. The Christmas decorations were so good. Pretty streets with limestone houses. It's gorgeous.
this is the manor hotel where we stayed it was so gorgeous you should see this place in slama they put out the tables and you can have tea cakes outside all over here they put the tables it's amazing there is a falls as well here The girls wanted to go on one of the walking trails but uh, we have to get to Wales before night. We are visiting a temple, Skandavale temple. It is situated in hills. We have to drive there first thing in the morning. We need a good night's sleep. So we are having lunch in this pub and then head to Wales. Wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life it was a day of rain with sunny intervals. Weather was so good when we left Chipping Camden, but it started pouring towards Wales. We enjoyed the tranquility of the horses and cows grazing in the fields. It felt like a timeless moment. We stopped the car to watch the farm animals. Our girls had so much fun. So what is the break now? We're all quite tired now, so we thought we'll buy some dinner here and then we can eat it in our hotel room. We don't want to go out for dinner again. What's gonna have ketchup? Yeah, that's right. We want some olives. guys good morning <laughs> we didn't sleep well last night so we were all very hungry only mcdonald's here look there's a mcdonald's that's the only one open at six o'clock for breakfast so we are going to have something there and then we are going to go to the temple there is also a greg's and a starbucks here but they all open only at 7 30. We are the only people here. <laughs> I want with maple syrup. Pour it with maple syrup, not jam. No, I don't have to do it. Yeah, that's great. Super, super. <laughs> Very nice. Do you like your pancakes? I haven't tried them they yet, look. but they look really nice. Wildlife Why reserve. Why are eating the insects? <laughs> I call it wild life. <laughs> Innovative and delicious food. Today also it's choking it down. Rain makes the driving in the hill very risky. These hill roads are so narrow in some places, it's so tricky. But luckily we didn't get any oncoming vehicles since we are very early. Somehow it feels like we are going on Tirupati hills. But for Tirupati it's one way traffic. So there won't be any oncoming vehicles. No coaches on this road. That makes sense. 
no yeah, turning well, space well, beyond this point which way skanda wheel one and a half look uh, uh, skanda wheel this way this way straight one and a half miles and vibes love very fast <laughs> We are at the top of the hill. In 300 yards, you will have reached your destination. Your destination is on the right. I didn't film inside the temple premises because photography is not allowed there. It's a beautiful temple which is set in the nature. There is no roof for the temple. I loved it. It makes it so natural. Rain falling on the deity and the puja was so good. It was raining and the weather was freezing, but still we enjoyed. Something about the place was so calming. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll catch you guys in my next video soon. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your life.